video, I'll be showing you how to make a rucksack backpack. I've been seeing these bags everywhere, like Target, Forever 21, and they retail for about $25 to $40. But why buy one when you can make it yourself? The cool thing about making your own backpack is that you can choose any color, any print, and any kind of buttons you want. Now when you go back to school, you'll be the only one to have a backpack like yours because you made it. If you make this project, send me a picture on Facebook so I can see your cool backpacks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave any questions or comments because I love to read them. Thumbs up this video and subscribe. You will need the following materials. Start by getting some wrapping paper or newspaper to make your pattern. I will list all the measurements I made in the description box. I included seam allowance in all the measurements except for the backpack flap. Start by tracing and cutting the front and back pattern to the material you'll be using for the exterior of the backpack. Cut out the piece for the bottom of the bag and two for the sides. These are the pieces you should have for the exterior. Now I'm cutting the material for the interior of the backpack. You should have the same amount of pieces as the exterior. This is what you should have for the interior. Now trace and cut the pocket and pocket flaps on your accent fabric. Now you should have two side pockets and two side pocket flaps and one front pocket flap and one pocket. Do the same to the lining for the pocket flaps and pockets. Iron all your pieces so it's easier to work with. Here I added interfacing to the accent fabric and the exterior fabric. This is so the material is stronger but that is optional. These are all the pieces you should have. I didn't include the backpack flap till the end, but you could do it at this point. Now I'm taking the top corner of all the pockets and bringing it down to the bottom to form a triangle. Mark an inch and a half line at the bottom of both corners to create depth in the pockets. Sew on the lines you created. Do the same step on the lining of the pockets. Use a straight stitch and don't forget to lock your stitches. Cut off all the corners. This is what it should look like. Take the two pieces and place them right sides together and sew along the edges leaving an opening to flip it inside out. Now flip it inside out. Fold down both sides and sew a top stitch at the very edge. Do the same to the bottom. Sew so a top stitch at the top of the pocket as well. This is what it should look like after. Now sew the flat pieces right sides together leaving an opening to flip it inside out. Flip it inside out and 
top stitch on the edges. Repeat these steps to the side pockets except this time I sewed an inch instead of an inch and a half at the bottom of all corners. Cut off the corners of the pockets and flip the flaps inside out. Top stitch the flaps. Place them right sides together and sew. Don't forget to leave an opening to flip it inside out. For the side pockets, you don't have to top stitch the side folds if you don't want to. Place the pocket 2 inches from the bottom and 2 inches from the side on the exterior piece. Fold in the sides and the bottom and sew. Sew the flap right above the pocket. This is how it should look like. Place the pockets 2 inches from the bottom on the exterior side pieces. Fold in the sides, pin and sew. Now get the interior pieces, put them right sides together, pin and sew. Sew the bottom piece as well. Now sew the bottom sides together. Make sure both lines touch so you don't have any holes. Now sew the other piece to all three sides. Place the exterior pieces right sides together and sew. Use a straight stitch and don't forget to lock your stitches. Do the same to the bottom as well. Take some vinyl and cut a 3x8 strip. Fold it in half wrong sides together and sew a seam on both sides. This will be the handle to the backpack. Take some strap material, strap loops, and a lighter to create your straps. Cut two 36 inch strips. Now cut two 6 inch strips for the bottom of the strap. Burn all the ends to prevent fraying. Slip the long strip in the middle loop and sew together. Now slip the other loop through the long strip. Now slip the other strip through the bottom loop and sew. Now I'm tracing and cutting the backpack flap, leaving half an inch for seam allowance. Cut a 12 by 2 and a half inch strip of vinyl to support the back of the backpack. Sew a seam on both sides using a wide stitch length. Place the strap material on top of the vinyl an inch and a half from the top. Place the handle right in the middle and place the straps on the sides of the handles and place the flap right under. Sew it down on both sides using a wide stitch length. Cut two 4 inch pieces of vinyl and cut a slit down the middle to slip through the bottom straps for support. Sew the vinyl to the straps. Now sew the back piece right sides together on all the sides. Place the straps at the bottom making sure they're not twisted. After sewing the exterior, place the interior right sides together with the exterior and sew the top of the bag leaving an opening to flip it inside out.
top stitch along the seam. Now I'm taking a 2.5 by 36 inch strip of lining to create the drawstring loop. Place it right sides together and sew, or place it wrong sides together if you're using a serger. Sew along the top seam, leaving the open ends at the front of the bag. Cut a 46 by 1 inch strip of vinyl for the drawstring. Sew a seam wrong sides together. Attach a safety pin to one of the ends to loop it through the other side. Tie a knot on both ends. Sew 5 buttons on the backpack. Mark the width of your buttons. Use the 4-step buttonhole maker on your sewing machine to make your buttonholes. Use a seam ripper to cut a slit in the middle, making sure you don't cut the thread. To give the backpack a polished look, sew some vinyl on the edges on all the flaps. But that's optional, I kept it the way it was. Yay, you're done! Thank you for watching!